Hey guys, so um, today I'm going to Odava. We're literally in lockdown, but the government have given us two days to go and buy some essential stuff. And it depends on your last name, like the time frame depends on your last name. So I'm between one to five, but I'm going to go early just to see if I can, you know, probably get through before that. But... I'm going to take you on that journey. I dress really simple because I don't know if I have to go jump over nothing. Put me up on gym clothes early. Like, just gym attire because I want to be very comfortable. So, yeah. Let's go to Old Arbor. So, hey guys, just come back. Like, the road, literally crazy. Only to buy a few stuff, we don't only to buy a few stuff, and it was so crazy. Like, we have some little clippings, I'm never sure, no, but yeah, <sighs> we're tired. Like, we leave the house from 1 20 something, so we reach Old Arbor like probably 10 minutes to 12, and we go straight to neighborhood, straight to neighborhood because. May I say, we don't want to go up and down because we can't bother with the hassle. Plus, neighborhood have everything. You know, neighborhood, them, them change their name to Samsters. So, Samsters, whatever. But we, we know it as neighborhood. So, anyway, we go straight to Samsters, right? And when we go there, the line literally from the door all the way back to like KFC, like literally, like I'm mean, gonna show you the clip in how long the line is, right? And we out there say for instance from 12 o'clock and we reach at the door like 235. Reach at the door 235. That mean we don't reach in yet, you know. Reach at the door at 235. So that's how much hours, like two and a half hours. I'm outside of the line, right? And even when you go inside, I decided that you know what the first thing we gonna do, I got the bread aisle and I got the green grocery aisle because we know some people are gonna take up them this up the first. And when we reach at the bread aisle, there was like six bread and we just grab one, right? And then we got the green grocery, like we could I get only a few stuff, like only a few stuff because everything they um gone. So we took up some stuff. Um we also buy this because I know I plan to bake and me buy some little stuff because me, me as I'm telling you me never really me, right now me think me buy too much stuff because me really didn't want green grocery but me just buy when me never really need anyway so me buy juice me buy snacks me buy detergents me buy green grocery more toiletries because you know whatever buy stuff clean the house and all them something so that's basically that's what i bought and egg and all them something and as i mentioned i'm gonna buy this because i'm gonna bake i'm gonna bake my own bread so you guys stay for the tune for that so right now we just have to clean up the fridge we pack the stuff them in the fridge so that's that well guys it's crazy it's crazy and the worst thing about it is I never eat before I leave the house. So when me in this neighborhood, the supermarket, me, me literally did a um we pull it something them and I eat them. Because we hungry and I never want to drop down too long in the sun hot, right? So hmm. Alright, so this is 
the finished product of my fridge you know i have meat around there chicken lobster shrimp one bag of thing you know turkey meat around there aki that i got off the tree today more chicken um down here i have juice you know these juice once you open them they don't last very long they will get spoiled on you i have milk i have my coconut oil my blend up seasoning water you know green groceries fruits and vegetables it's me alone so they need no one bag of stuff you know corn mixed vegetable you know breakfast stuff cheese you know, I'm freezing cheese because we don't want to spoil for me. You know, drinks and bologna and all those stuff. Eggs, butter. This one's almost out, so I got a new one. Um, shortening and cooking butter. Other condiments, you understand? Yeah, yeah. So, it's me alone, so I don't need a whole lot of stuff. This is a lot for one person. I have my tin stuff here. Um, this is the one that you know I just grab because I have stuff in the barrel. So these are the one like if we just scan but if we get at the barrel, we just grab for them here. You know, east. No, I'm going to bake bread. So I buy east. So that's that. So I have about six mackerel, I have thin sausages, and one bag of you understand? And then, now this is my snack jar, you know, one bag of snacks in here, my bread up there and whatever. And yeah, this is the barrel that have my food and stuff in it. So I think I'm pretty much good <laughs> for six months. Because I ain't uh, planning to go back on the road. You understand? And I'm going to order some shrimp and some lobster and some crab and some fish um, on Friday. So I have extra more meat in the freezer. So that's that. And then I have uh, this lady coming around Thursday. I need to get um, some oranges and I need to get some scallion because I couldn't get any today and maybe some ground provision so you know so me set you understand me set we have enough onion garlic and all them so the many ginger though but differently from that I am good you understand and God is good yeah check the little clippings them I couldn't get to do a lot because the sun was hot and you know I was just so tired and we never walk around us in a old double because as I miss say, me know what I want, I know where I go, so I just went straight there. And me say one bag of fights and not going and all them something. So me didn't just want to go in the line, go in the store, go cash out the product them and come back on my yard. You understand? So I never do no one bag of walking up and down in a Spanish in a order bar. And most of the store them didn't close anyway. Even KFC closed. Can you believe that KFC didn't close? So even if you didn't want to buy a little two piece, we're gonna get it, you understand? Even though I think I'm really one still. But yeah, you know, check the little videos out. Yeah. And give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And if you want to see more, you know, let me know in the comments down below. Food ain't give it that missing a bunny for more Saturday. No man, I'm two days Saturday. Saturday. Wednesday and Saturday. Mm, two days then can say uh Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday and Saturday. I just need this video. Nothing more that took us me hungry. We want to do use the bathroom. Uh -huh. Okay, that's a juice. Okay. okay.
There's a right time for you now for going in. He wants to use the bathroom. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But in the mm -hmm. yes guys so that was basically it for today um i finished packed out the fridge and put out the stuff them and all them someday i have an assessment tomorrow it's somewhat of an exam tomorrow so i go go to bed and if you tell the truth i'm not studying for nothing because it's like an open book test like we now go. We don't know. I don't see me. I just put my notes together and all that. So that's that. That's what's happening tomorrow. We now go on the road, like obviously because everywhere I got locked down because we only get two days, which is um today and Saturday. And we not see myself go on the road for now because it's crazy out there. And we don't know in the need to look on Facebook or whatever you see everywhere is crazy like today i must say like to everybody we um come at sam sampar sampar yes that's the right name of the the supermarket guys sampar like i don't know if it because of the the class of people um that went there but it was very orderly we were in the line even though we we're in there long like there was no fuss there was no fight and at the beginning there was police at the door checking IDs and all those stuff and temperature but they left because they realized that we were really you know doing good so they didn't see the need to stay there which kind of made no sense because they still need to check the temperature and they still need to maintain order but me not telling like without the police and all that we didn't maintain order and we did there at the back of the line and we go up to the front nobody no cut tea nobody no leave nobody no say keep the space after me me soon come back and all them something there. so that was very good and we go in and we shop and we go in at the line with no problem and it was just so good today and as compared to everywhere else where we see fight people are bite people are thief and all them something there. people whoever they in at the line with me Big up on yourself. Big up on a good, good self. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see if I can vlog a little bit. It's gonna be somewhat of me inside lockdown day two. Yeah. So this is day one. But tomorrow will be day two, which I'll be doing my assignment and all those stuff. Yeah. And uh, yes, yeah, stay good. Stay safe. Washing the hands. Keep prayed up, guys. Bye.